on the base of the sweet will of our Gurudev, our beloved Sadhu Maharaj, we will read, continue, Chaitanya Charit Amrita, Adi Lila, Chapter 4, and we will continue from text number 24. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaurabhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaurabhakta Vrinda <laughs> jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Jaya Actually, I just remember that. Um, some devotees in the beginning. I asked, what is Chaitanya Charit Amrita? And then told me not to read it before Bhagavatam. Then I was hiding in my car and was reading Chaitanya Charit Amrita secretly. And I was crying. A lot of tears actually I was crying because it's really sweet. It's really very the very essence of our life. The Lila is inside, everything is inside, Chaitanya Charamita. The mercy, the door. and Radharani's love. So, we ended last time, I think it was 23, so now we will read text. A moment, just a moment. Yes, we ended before, but uh, I wanted to go on here actually. Yes. Devotional service rendered to me by the living beings revives their eternal life. Oh, my dear damsels of Braj. Your affection for me is your good fortune, for it is the only means by which you have obtained my favor. So devotional service rendered to me by living beings revives their eternal life. So here it is meant that loving service and this actually is a quote who Krishna is saying that to, he's talking to the gopis of Raj, that it is their good fortune that they actually have affection for him. They are not in Vaidhi Bhakti, they are not doing this because they don't want to go to hell or they want to be better people or 
other motives. No, they don't have any motive. They have motive less love for him. And this is actually the key, which is for the door outside of this material life. You can leave it back. You have a key. The love or the affection for Krishna is the key. You can end this material life. You have some love, go for it. You may have it in different kinds, because here will be also some examples. But this is actually the base, the ground. And this is actually the door inside of your eternal life. Because Jivara Svarupoy Nityarata das, uh, Nitya Krishna das. <laughs> so we are eternally servants. And in our case, we are eternally servants of Radharani. But all living beings are eternally servants of Krishna, at least, or some aspect. So, Radharani is coming to share this eternal knowledge or the fact with us that if we may have some attraction for Krishna, spontaneous, then this will revive the eternal life of all jivas. So this has nothing to do with religion in the sense of material religion. My dear damsels of Braj, your affection for me is your good fortune, for it is the only means by which you have obtained my favor. So if we want to go inside, then it's very helpful to have some feelings towards Krishna or better, even better, towards Radharani, because she will please Krishna to the full extent and if we have contact with her, then it will be also possible for us to please him in the full extent through her. And we may understand Krishna fully. Because even a child can understand him with the help of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, as we heard last time. So Krishna is saying here, my friends climb on my shoulders in pure friendship, saying, what kind of big man are you? You and I, we are equal. And actually, this is the truth. If you want to stay in Aishvarya Bhav, fear of God, then actually this is the clear sign that you want to have something from him. Like if you have a relationship with your father and you always underline that he is a owner of a company and he's rich and he has very much cars and he has so much things, so much good things you maybe also want. And you have a base on this relationship, then you will never ever understand his loving relationship with 
your mother. Because you're just fixed on these material things. So even in this material world, we can see it's like a mirror. It is like that. We cannot go deep if we are focused just on the material things. But if we want to understand our Father's love, we may not go to Him. We may ask Mama, take her on the side and ask her, actually, how is Papa when he is with you alone? He's similar, like with me, or different? Can you give me some hints? So even in the material world, we can understand that this is the door out of Aishwarya, out of any wishes to have something from our father. So in the case of Radharani, it works even much better because she is Mahabhav. She is love in person. So she understands Krishna fully. And she can actually share these feelings with us. It's not just knowledge. It's not, not even rasa tattva. Feelings. It's life. And this is actually what we want. We want to have our lives back. Go out of this zombie life here. Walking dead. <laughs> because as long as we don't feel the love of our beloved Swamini, we are more or less like that, emotionally or in the uh, emotional body, it's like that, like water which is standing. They always say when water is standing, then it starts to smell, to stink. <laughs> so it has to move. Our feelings have to move. And this is actually what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the Panchatattva want to give us. Go again in the feelings because you are eternal soul and you are the eternal servant of, as you like, Krishna or Radha. If you want to please Krishna fully, then there is no way around Radharani. So, best to understand her feelings and serve accordingly. So, Krishna is giving here some hints. My friends climb on my shoulders in pure friendship, saying, What kind of big man are you? You are equal. And this is actually like we also see Krishna. It's like a friend. He is like a friend. He is the beloved of our Swamini. So he is like a, what is called, a Bandhu Sat, Sat Bandhu? Lokik Sambandhu. Lokik. Yes, thank you, Suniti. You froze. Maybe the internet is not the best. So, if my beloved consorts approach me in a sulky mood, a sulky mood, this is like uh, um, what is it called?
not really favorite a little bit like mm, i'm not satisfied with you krishna <laughs> that steals my mind from the reverent hymns of the vedas so even krishna is not very attached to all these um hymns of the Vedas who glorify him and, you know, all this Aishwarya. He is not attracted to that. He is more attracted to love. And we all can understand that we actually, more or less, we feel the same. If we want to live in love, if we want to live in the false ego, that's something else then we may be attracted to hymns and to glorifications like that. But actually, if we see it from, a, from another platform, that we are all one family, because the soul belongs to the godly family, if we see this as a base, it's not our rasa, but it's a base, this is actually the base we can see it, then it's very natural actually to go to your father and say, you know, here uh, the garbage is stinking. You actually have this service, so please take it and bring it out. It's just a family. They are loving each other and they are serving each other. So on this base, also, Krishna is attracted, no Aishwarya, just loving exchange. And this is actually what we have to learn again. In my case, I can say I never was living in a loving family before I went into Radhadasyam. Now I have a very loving family, you all. And that's why I was singing this song and begging your mercy from all you Vaishnavas. Because actually now love is flowing and we can grow on the base of this everlasting love. It's not just a material so-called love. Taking these pure devotees with me, I shall descend and sport in various wonderful ways, unknown even in Vaikuntha. So here we can hear that Krishna is again saying, these games are not known, these sports are not known, even in Vaikuntha. Because these are sports of pure love. They are not known in Vaikuntha because they are also in Aishwarya Bhav. I shall broadcast such pastimes by which even I am amazed. So he wants to share, to give to everyone these pastimes. And from these pastimes, he himself is amazed, astonished again and again, because they are ever fresh. They are not like we meet some person again and we remember last time and the 10 times before and we think oh it's getting maybe a little bit boring like that or no it's not like that never ever these games are full of spontaneous love and spontaneous means you don't feel like it happened before you feel like oh it's the first time it's really it's exploding in my heart. I have to express this. This is something else like we know 
So the feelings there are not like our material feelings. And if we manage it to come to our real body, the emotional condensed body, then we can feel that these feelings are a bit different, like our material feelings, a bit different. So I cannot say so much because I'm not in my spiritual body, but sometimes because of the mercy of Gurudev and you, all Vaishnavas here, I have some very little impressions and I can feel this is not from the material world. So this is the great, great gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Panchatattva that they want to bring us back in this world where we belong in our home, actually. This is our home. Some may have a friendship relationship with Krishna, some may have an elderly, whatever the taste is of the Jiva, but actually this is our home. And we want to serve Radharani's lotus feet, this splendid lotus feet. And she is appearing here as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to give us this possibility to come back home. Here in the purport it is said, Lord Krishna in the form of Lord Chaitanya educates his devotees to develop progressively to the stage of pure devotional service. Thus, he appears periodically as a devotee to take part in various wonderful activities depicted in his sublime philosophy and teachings. There are innumerable Vaikuntha planets in the spiritual sky, and in all of them the Lord accepts the service rendered by his eternal devotees in a reverential mood. Therefore, Lord Sri Krishna presents his most confidential pastimes as he enjoys them in his transcendental realm. Such pastimes are so attractive that they attract even the Lord, and thus he relishes them in the form of Lord Chaitanya. So Krishna goes forward and said, and say, the influence of Yoga Maya will inspire the gopis with the sentiment that I am their Paramu. So here, Gopi Bhav is really distributed because it's the base, actually. Like Gurudev is always saying, it's actually the, the, the soul consciousness. And on this base, we can go deeper and go into the sentiment of Radha Dasyam. Because the wish of a gopi is to please Krishna. And if this is really deep, this wish, then she understands, hmm, the only person who can please Krishna is our Radha. 
So let me serve her. So then he will be completely pleased. So it's a very natural way of love, actually. If you really first learn to love someone, you may think, yes, I will please him. And if you understand that it's not possible for you to please him, then you may look for other ways to please him. And maybe this way will be through another person. And real love is not controlling. It is not holding someone. It's mine. No. It's not like that. It's not in this material sense, mine. And Radhadasi is saying, she is mine, then that's another sense, that's another point actually meant. I will take care. I love her so much that she needs me and I have to take care of Swamini. Otherwise, she will be lost. So to learn and to understand love, first of all, in this world, we have to understand that we have to let loose if we love someone. Then it's not possible in our material conceptions to, to please someone in real love. We have to go out of our material conceptions. Otherwise, we want to enjoy in a maybe very subtle way, but still, it's enjoyment for us. We are serving because we have some spiritual enjoyment. We are serving because we feel the love of the person and then we feel good. That's why we are serving. Now, all these conceptions we may give up, but this is only possible on the path of pure love. And it will come step by step, more and more. It's not from one day to another. It's a long way, maybe. And we go, go on and on and on. It's a process. Less and less we want for ourselves. We just want to please our Swamini because we cannot do better. Even if we want to please Krishna, we cannot do better than to just please our Swamini. So even for them who may be in another mood, it's good to serve Radha. So we are all invited. That's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu can spread this like he, he, he doesn't have to make any distinction actually. He can spread it everywhere. All around this pure love, full hand. So if somebody wants to share on these points, please interrupt me. Otherwise, I will just go on. But you are lovely invited to interrupt and ask or make some comments on that. Please don't feel shy and I will be not disturbed. I will be very happy to hear your experiences, your questions, your sharings. So, Radhe Radhe Gauravani. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. 
Dai, Anita. Dai, 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 Dai. Uh, so I have uh, one question. I will try to explain my, to <clears throat> what I were uh, feeling. I have one question for you and also for Suniti. From both of you, I would like to uh, hear about that. So um, uh, when we are reading Radha Rasa Sudanidi, Onvila Pekusumangeli, Uh, what we are trying uh, to put ourselves inside of the feelings of Raghunadas uh, mm, and to, to be part of this Lila. And this is quite uh, mm, understandable. Uh, what I want to uh, ask is uh, what we should feel like Manjari when we are in front of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, <laughs> so Rupa Goswami and Goswami Sanat and Goswami, they was feeling uh, a great separation from Goranga Mahaprabhu. Still, there was in Vrindavan and there was in the mission, some looks like different mission there. So when, when we are reading Chaitanya Charitamrita, Uh, I I cannot uh, see some manjari there. Uh, I, <laughs> is 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 clear what what I I have in my mind. I I don't know if if but maybe um, during the conversation it will come. But yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for this uh, interesting question. Suniti, you want to give some comment or answer? No, you first. <laughs> so actually, um, as we know, we, we chant uh, different uh, mantras. So um, we have one uh, few out of a sataka. So this is in satak avesh. This is the few in our body, in our material body, which may be used already in the seva, in the service, but it's still sadak. It's still a bodily consciousness. So at least to some extent. Actually, we want to get rid of this. That's why we have our sadhana, our practice. And... Um, The more we serve in love, not in the thinking of, oh, I'm just fulfilling my sadhana. I, I just want to be a, a good Vaishnava or something on this platform. I want to be God conscious. I want to, to serve um, in, yeah, in the outer way. The more we go inside, the less actually, we will surf on the outside platform. So it's really different views, as you say. This is absolutely correct. And we can see that actually, even in the case of these eternal souls, like um, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is talking with Ramananda Roy, their meeting, And when they are alone, they're actually going quite deep. But always you have to read between the lines. They are not telling it really directly. They don't say mantri bath or they are always moving on that platform of feelings, but they don't say it directly because otherwise they may be disturbed. Some people who are in Sadak wish or in another mood so it's hidden but this is the interesting point here chaitanya chart amrita is amrit it's the amrit of chaitanya mahaprabhu it's the nectar because it's all about radharani radharani is glorified here It's, it's similar with Radhara Sudhanidhi, 
at least in my understanding, when I read it, these feelings are coming up. But actually, it's more hidden. And this is actually also the interesting point, because um, when we are going in these feelings, we may talk with other people about some topics of the Chaitanya Charit Amrita, and they may understand it in a different way, but our feelings are fixed. And in this way, we can transport actually this bath into the other heart when this heart is open. So it's also a good platform actually to transport this Manjari bath into other hearts, like our Gurudev is doing this. When he's talking about Chaitanya Chart Amrita, I sometimes really, I'm, I really, I, I was thinking, are we really reading Chaitanya Chart Amrita, or, or was it actually Rasudanidi, or was it we love Kusum Manjali? I completely forget because we are so much in the nectar that the sadaka is like going in the back. It's not there anymore. So, actually, this Chaitanya Chart Amrita is like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. He is Radharani, but he is not showing up. He is hiding. Or she is hiding. Although it's Radharani. Uh, mood and Radharani's complexion, but still everybody thinks Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is a body of a man, right? Holy man? Maybe God? Everybody understands what he wants to understand, in which mood he is. So it's hidden. And this is actually an interesting point because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in the mood of Rata and Rata don't want to push anyone. In the same time, she wants to give the highest love for everyone. So she has to appear in a form which actually can can be practical for that. And this is actually very mystic. If we think about this, it's so mystical. What she is combining here, she's giving love to every mood. Whatever mood the Jiva has towards Krishna, she is actually giving food to that, energy to that. And who can do it? If not our Swamini, who could do that? No one. Only our Radharani can do that. Who else? Krishna couldn't. He was there before, before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came. What he gave? Up to Gopi Bhav. That's it? I mean, sorry. That's it. I mean, it sounds like it's nothing. But in the comparison of that what Radharani is giving, you may feel that's completely another world, another dimension. So we may understand why Krishna is so attracted to Radha, who could give this love in such a way she will never press anyone. She is very shy, always standing in the back, Offering all love, but never give any pressure to anyone. Actually, did this in any way answer something? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe uh, our Suniti can say more. Suniti, you're here.
maybe some internet interruption here. Anyway, she may uh, say something to that later. But did it answer somehow your question or something uh, you, you want to ask again some aspects maybe? Uh, so thank, thank you, Gorolani. Yes, of course, so, some uh, impression it, it gave me to me. Uh, can, can you say maybe uh, just uh, uh, how, how Rupa Goswami and Sanatan Goswami and you know, all Goswamis in that present moment, for example, during they was in Vrindavan, uh, their relation with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in that moment. So it not was direct, but it was something like indirect. Yes. If you can just say maybe something a little bit about that. And is it a question or maybe you want to say something about this? Um, Don't, be sure. no. Don't be shy. You can share your feelings and uh, what is your impression? I, I would like more to know about their in, internal uh, feelings during uh -huh. the presence of mm -hmm. the Chaitanya. Mahaprabhu. So in the no. sadaka uh, bodies like Rupa Goswami and like Smatan Goswami. Okay. So internally, I'm sure that they will never move an inch of their relationship with Radharani. Because Rupa Goswami is Rupa Manjari and she will be always in this mood. And Raguna does. Goswami, he is Rati Mantri or Tulasi Mantri, and she will also not move an inch of this mood. So actually, they are serving in so many ways their beloved Radharani. This is inside. But outside, they are playing this nice game like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that they are the servants of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and they are very respectful. And like, like I said in the meeting of, uh, in, in different kind of meetings, actually, they are mentioned in Chaitanya Charitamrita. We will read them later on, actually. Um, it is always very clear that they are very respectful. They are behaving like the ideal Vaishnavas, but inside it's always the mood of Rupa Manchari and Rati Manchari. And they are actually giving fire to the sentiment of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in whatever sentiment he is in that moment. Sometimes he is in the sentiment that uh, Radharani is completely in deep separation from Krishna. And then they have to, to serve in reading or reciting some verses and singing some songs. Um, and also Swarup Damoda is there, who is actually Lalita herself. And they are serving actually uh, their beloved, like always in the spiritual realm. And this is actually our good fortune, because in this way, very subtle, we will get these feelings, although outside they are just some uh, very religious uh, and very sensitive Vaishnavas like that. You, you may see in, in that aspect which your consciousness is actually, like when Krishna is going in the arena and he's fighting, everyone is seeing in different aspects, but no one could see him actually in Madhuya, because they were not in Madhuya Ras. So they may see them 
him as they like, as, as their perspective is. But the truth remains the truth, and this is the, the highest loving exchange which is going on when uh, Panchatattva is here on this earth and all this eternally associates descent with Krishna or with Radha in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So outside it looks like that, but inside <laughs> It's something else, and you have to really read between the lines, like Gurudev said, the, the white, not the black uh, letters, the white letters. Ah, so Niti is back, so maybe she can also share something on this. Thank you. A lot. Radhe Dayanidhi, so nice to be with you. Sorry, Radhe I had Radhe. some internet problems. <laughs> Radhe, oh. I was running around to get some more connection, always eager for connection, you know. When the connection gets lost, then I start running. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's an interesting question also. And I think Koravani was giving beautiful inspirations how to feel it i remember before i uh, i consciously felt more as a radha dasi i always saw chaitanya as the most merciful incarnation of godhead and nityananda as his best friend or brother like the second, uh, second, uh, how do you say that? Multiplication or expansion. But now it has changed because we gotten these beautiful Gayatri mantras from our Gurudev. This uh, connection has uh, made a shift in my heart. And I also ask Gurudev, how can I? feel my Shrimati Radhika in the Gaurav Gayatris. So he said, you just feel that my Swamini is pervading the whole universe. <laughs> her love is everywhere and uh, we are serving her. So we are serving love. We try to be our best in our sadaka and in our inner development of our Darcy connection, let's say like this. So, and these, these developments are steps. I feel they are steps. Sometimes I do one step where I feel, wow, that feels good. But then sometimes consciousness is going back. And I feel again, oh, I have to pray to the most merciful incarnation. <laughs> so that is uh, happening uh, as, as long as we are here in this uh, body. We have the different, you know, moves in our consciousness. That is, you know, the Swarup is not so much uh, fixed yet. Although the feelings of the sty bath are there and these feelings we i try to develop the fixed feelings of darcy so in these fixed feelings i always try to you know relate to chaitanya mahaprabhu as shimati radhika and she is helping mohan to feel what he would like to feel how she feels so in this Leela, they are both the most, you know, exalted lovers of the of a whole existence. And I try, I like to serve them. I like to serve my Swamini. And of course, when I serve her, she will give me service that is needed in any situation to serve her beloved. Because actually at one point, 
they become one also. So that is uh, my main meditation. And as far as Rupa Goswami and Raghunath Das Goswami, I'm sorry also, I didn't listen the whole conversation now between you and uh, Gauravani. I remember that um, Shenar Maharaj always said, we should see them also as sadhakas. We have to see them as sadhakas. They are also in a development. Otherwise, it will not make sense, their lives. Like uh, Gurudev says that Raghunath Das Goswami, before he got the mercy of Nityananda, he could only see Chaitanya as God. And later he developed more and more his Gopi Bhav and his Dasi Bhav under the guidance of Rupa Manjari and uh, Lavanga Manjari. So, because this is also our, our uh, process, I feel. Um, more connected if I also have my Stai bath to them. Like they, they are Dasis, but they come as Sadakas to teach us. And uh, in this whole Leela, they are going through their different steps. And they are, uh, by mercy of, of Chaitanya, they are helping me to go through my steps. So my steps are how far am I still caught in this God consciousness when I see things from the external view of, of my, you know, being an inhabitant of this planet and trying to come into love. And then later, when I am fixed in my sty bath, that is happening by, by mercy of Gurudev and all Vaishnavas and Shimati Radhika, of course, which the love and mercy is flowing through them to me or to us. Then my feelings become more fixed and I feel my Swamini is everywhere. She is pervading the whole universe and she is here with me now and she is guiding me through my Guru Manjari and my Guru Manjari is her direct Kaha Vyuha. She is the Abhinna Swarup, the, the, you know, the expansion of her mercy to me, to us here and right now. So when I'm there at this point, actually, I feel the best because then I am with myself. You know what I mean? I mean, I am with myself. I am with my eternal self. And I'm in this consciousness of Darcy, connected to my Guru Darcy and connected to my Swamin. So in this feelings, I feel completely satisfied. And these other, you know, feelings that also come once in a while, they are also good, but they are not so much fulfilling my heart. But they are happening because I am in development. That is what I could say to, to that, and I hope it is uh, of any use. <laughs> Rani. Thank you very much. Thank you I very much. This is actually very practical. Hmm? We try to be in our spiritual, in our real spiritual consciousness. So we develop the spiritual feelings and this is actually more and more intense. And then the body, the spiritual body is coming. It's, it's showing up more and more. It's the way of feelings, condensed feelings. So if this is not possible, and my mind is trying to play ping pong again, like Gurudev is always saying, so wants to go back in the material realm, then it's very good to, to have this other platform and then act on that platform to again come inside. It's like uh, some uh, sound, um, a fence, huh? a fence. It's keeping you so that you don't go, go away too much, you know, like if you are going somewhere, then, then here it should stop, not more. Then you are in this uh, bodily consciousness, but then at least in holy bodily consciousness. Can I add something? 
<laughs> Kurde. <laughs> Please. You all are explaining beautifully, but very nice question he asked. Thank you for asking. So he inspired me to share something also to add. And you also inspiring beautifully, beauty, nicely. One thing comes more easy to make me easy to understand. Adi Lila Four Cantor is telling Krishna took the mood of Radhika. Mood means when you follow someone, means when I follow, then what I take, you know, I take the mood of my boss and I follow in that direction. This is following. Like you see, Japan, the, the disciple of Jananda, they follow how the Jananda sing, how the Jananda behave, they follow like Jananda. So that is following. So Krishna took the mood, means he want to follow to Radha. Number one. And number two, what he do? He make covering also outside Radha. He cover himself. So two things he do. Mood also take, take care of Radha. This is Manjari Vahach. Dasi Vahach. Radha Dasi Krishna. To feel first, you will see, he want to come to release the mood of Radha. Read that Aditila four canto. You have any book is there? I have here a file, yeah. Yeah. So you see that, read that. What is the first reason of Mahaprabhu, uh, Mahaprabhu appearance? What is the reason? Nam Sankirtan? What is the main reason? First. The first reason is that he wants to enjoy actually the love which Radhika is feeling for him. Yes. So without taking mood of Radhika, how he can do that? What Radhika is giving love to Krishna, how Krishna will understand he is a foreigner, so how he will understand? Huh? Yeah. How he will understand? Not possible without taking the mood. No, he is a foreigner. He said, I'm a foreigner. So he took the mood. Mood taking means he become dasi. Following. And he cover it. Because his nature not to stay one place, because he's a little naughty. He go here, there, 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 there. So he come that if he want to go out, he cannot go. Difficult to understand, na? I say you make easy. Take two breads, two bread, bread. But you take pan. Brown bread, German, very nice. So this bread, keep. So uh, first is this bread. Then you put the butter, full butter put. Philadelphia butter. This is Krishna. 
and outside also you put one bread. What becomes sandwich? You put some what you like. So this is sandwich. This is Mahaprabhu. Both side is not sleep, butter not sleep out. Cover nicely. It's two Radha covered so much that Krishna butter cannot go out. So, so Guruji, you said that uh, we can say. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu like two Radha and it be in between uh, Krishna like a Dasi. Yeah. Like Manjari. <laughs> you see the mantra cling. Cling means too many. Cling is 24. 24 means 24 half. So 12 and 12. 12 is Krishna. 12 is Radha. Who is half? Is a Dasi. Manjari is Dasi. So if it is one side 12 and one side 12 and half, which side is bigger? 12 or 12 and a half? Part of Radharani is bigger because Radharani plus. Manjari. <laughs> half. So this is twelve and a half. Cling and string. String means Radha Mantra. So cling is in between and cling is Radha and out string also Radha. And in between. This butter, Krishna is there, Mark and Shur. See? Clear? Because every time you we eat a sandwich you know, and like this, so it's not difficult to forget this, right? Clean and swing. Boranga so. This Gauranga, who is Gaurangi, he becomes Gauranga. Male, but he is a Gaurangi. Tapta Kanchan Gauranga. Right? Clear? Very clear. Because we are Sadhaka and we are living in the male consciousness. We not see because we identify to enjoy myself as a male when I will come in the soul consciousness, then I will see Gorangi. If not, then I will see Goranga <laughs> male. But really, this Gorangi, when I will see. When I will come to Gopi Mahav, Dasi Mahav. What Gauravani said, soul consciousness is Gopi Living in the soul is Gopi my material body is there, but I'm not interested to any games with the senses and thoughts even. Right? It's, it's stinking. It's not picking good flavor to me. Before it was a flavor, but now there is no flavor because I start living in divine flavor. Right? Clear? Very clear. Second thing. Our Goswamis, 
when we are in sadhak there we see sarup damodar and radhamananda but sarup damodar is lalita this radha is looking to his lalita and vichaka right clear her dearest friend nectar's in her friend who always never leave to radharan and the goswami he create for the suffering soul who is in this kali yuga suffering like anything then he give three point one point he give sambandha relation relation this is the main disease in us that we make relation where not no use of that relation and we not feel the relation of what to do in this relation you see the life of jesus he make relation with his father one one person who is in relation they can say about that so mahaprabhu make so strong to him that he cannot do anything only he want to say relation and his spiritual life start with relation if you want to be radha dasi you have to relate with radhika you cannot say no i have no relation with you i will ask him everything from you this relation means now your responsibility to take care of them or your responsibility to take care of them and the, if i want to become religious then no 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 i want to see you god why because i don't want to relate and keep relation with you i want to keep godly consciousness with you then i want to be impersonal with you i believe but i have amazon i order and you supply to me amazon but you, you are also in europe amazon so i order i need this i send the money or i ah, you why you need money you are god give to me this is god god consciousness but relation you not ask me you give your love you give your time you give so sanatan goswami is a leader when anyone deviate from relationship he bring to him to the point one time rup goswami ragunath das goswami was sitting in sun and then radha rani cover him from sun then sanatan goswami that moment come and so what you are doing baba you come to take seva from the radha rani why you come here you still you have a god consciousness go back to to bangal and stay there if you want to stay never do this mistake make one heart and stay there and do service to radha this is the meaning of relation 
right? I will serve you because I love you. I have a feeling and relation with you. Right? When we really relate, relate then we need one thing. I'll be there. We have to differentiate material inside me and in spiritual. Right? This is how it is. If I will not work at the sadhak inside me, it will not pass through. I will stay al always in my bodily consciousness. Right? So Rupa Goswami, he said, this relation has the many varieties, motherly relation, friendly relation, and jugal relation. To understand this relation, you can use with Radhika, with Krishna also. If you want to use this relation, then one feeling you have to catch and follow that. But one is in the bodily consciousness, one is in the spiritual consciousness. So if you want to develop a spiritual consciousness, I give you one key, that is Abhidhya. And when you try for five minutes, then you feel the difference of Abhidhya stage and material stage. You feel so happy you feel so happy for five minutes. You again want to stay more longer. You want to stay more than minutes. Then again come back. Again you try for that. Again you come back. Again you try. By this way, we develop more and more. When it fits in my sadhak there and sit there, then also I listen. Pariyojana. Pariyojana is now what to do? Then I see my sadhak there is also changing my way of working. My spiritual identification also changing my way of thinking. And this is in a divine thing, is not outside, other can see it. Even your family member will not know what you are doing because these are divine help of divine Goswami. And this all flowing from my Swami Radhika and Manjiris. And you see, first Goswami, Sanatan Goswami, you know the Manjari name? Lavangam. Lavang is the one, what you say in English? Next, what you say? What do you say in English? Uh, la Lavanga, is that the, the effulgence, Gurudev, or not? No, no. Lavanga, how it looks. Delicate. The beauty? In, no, in English, what Delicate. do you say? Huh? Don't what? Lavanga means delicate. It's named Delic after the ah. uh, Lavanga is one. One thing to eat, keep in mouth. Ah. You know this? 
The small black one, the clove wood. Ah, what is the name? Clove. 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 Ah, clove. What is the work work of the clove? You know. Throat it bad. It's aroma, flavor, na good. No, anything become bad in your body, how it can improve. Clove can help you. Hmm, antiseptic. Yes. So, what is antiseptic job? Why antiseptic is coming in my body? Because I have a wrong relation. <laughs> if you want to be antiseptic, you have to take lavender. Right. <laughs> <laughs> then you don't need other other problem will never come to you. Group and Rati. Group is the guru. And Rati is the disciple. Right? What is the meaning of Rati, you know? Lusty desire. One is the Sadak they have lusty desire, material lust. One is spiritual lust. Now we know the Abhideha, two, two things. Sadak Deha last we all know. We suffer also and we enjoy also. Right? I also was Girhastashna, so I know that. You all I, I experience also, right? Yes or not? Yes, good Dave. I think one, we all have this experience, yes. So one time, why not is spiritual lust developed? Try this, because Abhideha is there. What will happen after that? If spiritual lust will come, material lust will become stinky. Okay? There is no flavor here. Flavor is the different place. And if you not know this, then this flavor is beautiful in my life, and no other flavor is there. This is... Where is my flavor? I do that. Sri Guru Charane Rati says Uttamakati in Guru Bandana. Rati means a spiritual lusty desire is the best thing. Uttam Gati, nothing is there to develop a spiritual lust. Then what happened? Then Rupa is coming. Guru will come. Rati will come, Guru will come. If the Ratis are outside, Guru, Rupa will not come. Your form will not come. Rupa will come, Guru Manjari will come. Because he cannot leave, Guru Manjari cannot leave Rupa. And Rupa Manjari will come, your Manjari Sarup will fix. If you have, if not that way, it's not moving. Right, Gaurvani? Yes, completely, exactly. Because he asked the question. And he, by that question, he inspired me. And I said, Shit. 
He is very lucky because actually this is what we want to try always that you get inspired and share with us actually. So the needy because of his question, he actually brought you to share. Lucky you are, guy. You are telling so beautifully explain, explanation that I'm thinking I cannot do that too. I know then, nothing. Also, then this question bring me. That's wow. My Anidhi is really the Anidhi. He, he knows, he has a deep, deep realization. And I'm proud of him and your explanation. Right? Now you, you have a half hour. Guru Dev, I'm, I'm very happy when you when you share with us because it's en it's, it's endless. We have so much time. I'm hiding because many are hiding from me, so I'm also hiding. If hiding with no seek, hide and seek will stop. I will not hide. Hide from. <laughs> they hide. I will hide and seek with inside. <laughs> But I am always with you. You will believe. So, Guru, if you are playing the same game like Panchatattva, they are also <laughs> hiding. No, I am never. I am in picture hiding, but I am always with, with all of you. Krishna is hiding in in I Radharani. Dear Krishna, and I not like to be a friend of him. Only I want to smoke small coffee of Radhika, but she's not accepting me. <laughs> <laughs> you became Krishna's friend now, Gurudev, when you are hiding. <laughs> I'm always with you. I know. Yeah? Hide him because. I'm I'm showing you that this impersonal. You want to be personal and you behave like an impersonal is not relation will develop. <laughs> Thank Do you. And be open. Why to hide? <laughs> you see, my Sundaram never hides us. Yes. <laughs> so, so, so Gurudev, just one thing, uh, to be protected, to not deviate from Manjari Bhav, it's necessary always to be in the mood of the service. Mane, Radha Das, Manjari Bhav is the final thing, it's very difficult to reach them. First, you have to practice that I am the Radha. Only I have a Radha. I don't know anything. I don't know what Manjari Bhav is this. I don't know what is Gopi Bhav is this. But for me, only Radha. I don't know what relation to do, but for only for me, Radha. You show me, like a baby crying for mama, unknowingly, whole body is full of toilet and pee pee, but I don't know how to clean myself, because I am a small baby and you are my mother, you are everything, I don't know, but I cry. I don't know how to clean it. If you are you're really Karna me, they are me, you will not take care of me. I don't know what I have to do. I am your baby. I need your breastfeeding. Baby not grow without breastfeeding of mother. Your milk is my spiritual energy. I don't want anything to know, 
नॉलेज क्वालिफिकेशन नथिंग आई नीड सम टू टू प्ले विथ योर ब्रेस्ट एंड नेवर दैट आई नो और नथिंग आई नो I need your lap. I need your association. That's it. Dear Guru, there we need you that you show us the way. No, <laughs> you all are saying. I'm me. I'm just a student. That yes. Okay. Take care. Jai Shri Radhe, Guru Dev. What you said actually fits exactly uh, in the next verse because Krishna is telling, pure attachment will unite us even. at the expense of moral and religious duties so your pure attachment is actually uniting us all this is actually radharani's love which comes through the pure soul the pure soul's heart to us so actually this is uniting it's love nothing else is really uniting only love and even at the expense of moral and religious duties we have to think about this or feel about this for one moment even at the expense of moral and religious duties because we tend to be in a uh, moral social or religious rules and regulations even created by normal people like society has so many rules social rules and all this and we always tend to be in that but actually love is breaking out of everything that's why actually krishna has to be in the sandwich that he cannot fall out otherwise he will never ever feel radharani's love because radharani's love is not in this fence there is no fence it's like an endless ocean endless so no moral no religious no nothing will keep or hold on love destiny will sometimes bring us together and sometimes separate us So Krishna is telling about his plans when he comes as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu what actually he will do and he's all also telling what he's actually doing already in the spiritual world I was just thinking when, when Gurudev was sharing with us I, I just thought sometimes we play this game um a spiritual game like uh on the stage somebody's taking the rule of krishna and some somebody's taking the rule of radha and some uh mantras or gopis or whatever is there on the stage but actually this time pancha tattva is coming and the eternal purest souls are coming with them and now they are playing actually they are playing that they are bhaktas that they are sadakas like us 
So it's the changing of the rule, actually. So I thought maybe this is a very good picture. They are just playing what actually we should do in our sadhaka, so that we can come in their inner feelings. And then the spiritual body will grow. It's the greatest and simplest way in one. Because it's the way of pure love that's the greatest, there's nothing greater. But it's also the most simple and natural, because actually a child which is born naturally has love for the mother, and the mother has natural love for the child. It's just natural. You don't have to do something that this will at one point come out of nothing or something. <laughs> it's just there. It's natural. It's a natural relationship. And this is actually what Krishna is telling us here. The natural relationship, this is actually the base, the natural love, the pure love. This is the point. Then, by hearing about the pure love, this is text 33, then by hearing about the pure love of the residence of Braj, devotees will worship me on the path of spontaneous love. This is his plan. Then by hearing about the pure love of the residence of Braj, the sadhakas, devotees, will worship me on the path of spontaneous love. This is the point. He wants yeah. to bring us on this path. And Sorry? This, this yeah. comes by margin stops. And I, I feel that Anandas Bhavaji Radha Ras Sudhani Ji and Bilak Kusumajali, these two books are the greatest book in my feelings who can develop everyone inside feeling of the highest approach. You see, Chet and Chet are to say. Because this is Chet Mahaprabhu wish. Without, without philosophy, not working. This, the pastime, bring <coughs> out from the material body to my Siddha Deha. Sadhak Deha. To see that they are coming, a spiritual identification of soul coming is the real practice, sadhana for us. That is only, this is the thing to move. Other thing what you read, it do is artif religious and artificial. It's nothing work. One is relation, one is knowing. <laughs> material and spiritual, and how to, I'm acting, moving. If I'm not related, nothing will move. And, and I cannot talk, only we can listen. Even the Radhika is listening. So Larita and Visakha, Ra Raman and the Ra Roy is listening. Radhya, Radharani, Mahachaitanya. 
he no teaching to Rai Ramananda because he is Visakha. She will inspire her in prema. So she listen. Listening is more than sharing something. Listener is a fortunate who listen. They are rasikas. They listen. Radharani is the only listening. A whole pastime you see is listening because Radha wants to listen and search his lover. And we are searching my mama. We search his lover naturally. And I search my mama when she will feed the breast. The spiritual energy will change inside me and I will change my life. Nobody can do this. You know, you not need to open the breast of mama. Mama, if you are, Mama will feel you, and Mama will open the breast. Come, take. This is the art of the Mama. She not open every places. Even with his lover, he is not open. Lover has to open, but Mama open the breast when he sees baby crying. He cannot stop herself. This is what Shalya. This is the Vasalya Ras of Mother. And this Vatsalya Ras is also included in Radharani towards the Jivas. Yeah, you see, this is Dharavani. And this is our good luck. Yeah. Like you said, Gurudev, we don't have to endeavor. She will actually take the breast and feed us automatically as soon as she feels that we want. That's the point. That's the point. I am full of kaka and pipi. I don't know how to clean myself. We are... No need to go by cleaning and make pure, then I will go. Mama, nobody goes clean way. When he becomes dirty, he jump, run to Mama. He no go to father because he will become angry. But Mama will not become angry. He's not feeling. Same. Jai Ho. This is Mama, and Mama actually also. And will come to Mama. What happened? How it you become dirty? Wait, wait. She will bring to bathroom and clean and do and change the clothes, put the powder and perfume, and say, "How are you, my dear?" Kissing more. Where we will get it. 
without. So what we hear are the plans of Krishna, how he will give spontaneous love, but actually from where it's coming. When he is meditating about the mood of Radha, then he gets this idea. You know, 5, 10, 15 read Bhagavad Gita. Because Bhagavad Gita, Krishna, 10, 15 say, Krishna cannot understand himself. He, who is he? This Radhika makes him to understand. His pleasure giving potency make him to to show to the beauty of him, then he understand himself. And say, sorry, only I want to connect this. I love this, Gurudev. Well, you, you all are not reading when he was in his corn. You can change many things there. I don't know why not you're looking this. What you are searching that time? Are Prabhupada give me vision to see her? No, I close my. I think it's it's not the fault of 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 Prabhupada that we didn't understand. Actually, we had uh, we didn't have this pure wish to understand. Because if you have a pure wish, you will understand. But if you have still some other plans, then you may read the same verse, but don't understand really. But it's still there. It will not move. This information of pure love is always there for us and it will wait. And this is actually also Radharani's mercy. She will wait till we understand. And then she will open the breast and feed more. The wish has to be there. And from where this wish will come? When I had contact with some sadhu, he was in Germany, near, very near, a friend of mine, he told me, here's some Sadhu Maharaj from India, maybe you want to, to know him. He has some time, come here and talk with him. And in this way, everything started. Gurudev injected something in my heart I cannot describe, but then the wish slowly started to grow and I hope it will grow more and more and more and never stop so that Rati will arise and set fire. So that we can understand what the plans of Krishna is telling here in Chaitanya Charit Amrita, he wants to give spontaneous love. This is his idea. Abandoning all rituals of religiosity and fruitive activity. This is written here. It's not the idea of anyone. This is actually the idea of Krishna before he wants to come. Then by hearing about the pure love of the resident of Braj, devotees will worship me on the path of spontaneous love, abandoning all rituals of religiosity 
and fruitive activities. This is written here, verse 33. And this is actually like Sarva Dhamana Parijaja Mam Ekam, Mam Ekam Sharanam. That's it. It's such, actually, it's, it's so simple. It's amazing simple. It can be only love because love is always simple. It's not complicated. Love is never complicated. I honestly have to say I would never ever understand anything of all this philosophy and all these books and I, I would never ever understand anything and I would never understand Chaitanya Chak Amrita without the mercy of Gurudev and the mercy of Rupa and Rati because when you read or hear about Vilap Kusumanjali, Radhara Sudhanidi, then you will understand what is written in Chaitanya Charit Amrita. I think before it's not possible. Before you get this mercy of the great souls, because they are injecting the feelings, the right feelings in you. And then you may understand what is written in Chaitanya Chart Amrita. This is the great mercy. These are really the best plans of Krishna. But actually, they are just, just coming to him because of Radharani. Even in the material world, the good ideas of a man are based on the ideas of the, of the loving wife, right? <laughs> At least in my case, I have to say, I learned the good things and feelings I learned from my wife. So Radharani is giving this idea to Krishna. She is the Shakti. <laughs> So now he is making plans. Go there and give them spontaneous love. Abandoning all rituals, rituals of religiosity and fruitive activities, which usually he is actually pointing on all the time. That's a great moment, actually. It's amazing. Amazing grace. <laughs> this is really amazing grace. The most natural way I tell you one thing, my experience. She books, you not put your words. One is Prabhupada Bhagavad Gita. No, you are not use your word. I see the beauty of Bhagavad Gita. And if you want to see, Two, two books, Radhara Sudhanidhi Vilap Kusumanjali. Not put your words, only read and try to understand that words. You will be mad, I'm telling you. You will realize everything. And when you will read Radhara Sudhanidhi, Words by word and try to understand with Rasika and will Kusum Manjiri. You what you will read all will be crystal clear to you. Not add even in Anandas Bhavaji Prem Bhakti Chandrika, not add your words like before system was there. 
I understand and explain. No, that word you give, then Mahajan words will go inside us. Is all the selected words are there. We cannot make beyond that. This is the beauty. I say you. When I read these three books, I never add my explanation on that. Only go through words to word. And when touch some word, I try to understand what is the meaning of that. And then I paint that book that I anyone will see that life can change. Run. So this is this is the reason why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu sent to Goswami to Vrindavan to write uh, that other can feel these feelings. So yes, the, yes. Oh, really. And Leave to become manjari only in this way. Feelings has to grow is a spiritual life. Feeling is dying, is religious life. I am living in the feeling, it is spiritual life. And the feeling die when my mind is materially involved in material activities. So why not to use this mind to put him in the feelings? Up to that moment you have to practice. The mind has to feel it. Heart is feeling. But this mind is deserving, why not he feels? He has to feel it. Then he will cooperate you, false ego will not cop disturb you. That feeling will come. This is the way to grow the feeling, my dear. In this way, we can we, we can come from manovriti into chitta vritti, and then when the mirror is clean, the mind can actually also go in this feeling. Yeah. So actually, we can end here. Vritti means circle. Circle. Mind has a circle where he is moving in material world. He knows only one circle, material circle. <laughs> So the, he fight with us. If you chant, he fight. Mind bring you out to think that time because it's a relaxing time. But he's happening. Bhajan happening. Chanting I am doing, but kriya is happening different. My thinking is going different way. So what is happening? Tri Shanku means I am not here, not there. So Bhajan Kriya is mentioned, not Bhajan mentioned. Bhajan and Kriya, the action of your mind has to be also come in that direction. That is the reason of Bhajan. So what happened? I do bhajan, but nama bhas. 
because Kriya is something else and my na- name is going. So, re- result will not come. But slowly, 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 this bhajan brings Kriya also and bhajan also. Bhajan Kriya, then Anartha and Virti. <laughs> Anartha cannot inside disturb us. If not, then Anartha cannot go out from me. On that type of sadhana we do, only if we do this sadhana, Kriya has to be in that vritti. What I do, bhajan, you see, change. Beautiful, my dear. But air is listening, but is not listening because it's not listening. I do the same mistake, same and same mistake means I know listen that. This air has to drink, not listen drinking. Air has to drink and eyes has to talk. When eyes will talk, when the heart is melting, eyes is talking and drops of tears are coming. That is realization. Right or not? Yes. Sorry, six thirty. So we may end here with the last statement here. Krishna manifests his eternal human like form and performs his pastimes to show mercy to the devotees. Why mercy? Are they human? You understand me very well, because I also acting like a human. Birds understand the words of the word, bird words. Animal understand animal words. Are you are not human, you still the animal. You no know, understand my words. So he is behaving like a human. Naravadda Leela, that you understand I am giving you the way. If you want to know me, also you have to go to Radhika to know me. Or you can say that I know Krishna. He say I cannot understand myself without Radhika. How you will know me without her? <laughs> Not possible. Yeah, oh Gauravani. You are Gauravani. Gauravani means Gaur Katha can only come from Gauravani. Yeah. I'm very proud that you are sharing. Suniti is sharing about the Prem Bhakti Chandrika. Wow. I'm very proud. Uddhav is sharing in Bhagavad Gita. It's a beautiful inspiration that not only I am reading Radhara Sudhanidhi and Vilav Kusumanjali, I am looking everywhere where is the Radharani subject is there or not. <laughs> Something <laughs> confusing creation is happening, right? 
Radharani's Shakti is everywhere. See, I was not qualified to understand why, because I don't know Radha that time. I never developed feeling. I understand that God is good because God can give. I order and He will supply me. <laughs> that way, my work will go. Huh? But I know I don't need supply from you. I will carry you. Because I love you, my dear. But where I learn love to do you, again I have to go to Radhika to learn how she loves you. If I become gopi, then you dance okay, but you not you stay with me. You always search your Radhika because she gives you everything. For the moment, you will make me happy, okay, but only you are happy when you are near to Radhika. Radhe, Radhe. <laughs> Sorry, I took your half an hour time, God one. I will not do again mistake. Gurudev, uh, I just want to thank you that you are giving me this unbelievable seva to read and in the same time listen and understand deeply because actually you are just using my mouth. So I'm actually just listening and try to understand. And you are helping me and of course all other participates. And I want to thank you for that actually, because it's just your mercy. And it's such a great mercy that you are giving us such opportunities again and again in all different varieties, as you say, to look where Radharani's Shakti is. And as we can see with your eyes, Radharani's Shakti is everywhere. Love is everywhere. Love is the base of everything which is existing. And this we can understand only by your mercy. Thank you. And then Mama will only feed her milk. Eh? We will understand everything. <laughs> she only feeds the breast. <laughs> we don't know that very nipple, where is the milk? She put nipple and put the milk there in the mouth. This you have to shut. And then when he starts sucking, he's growing so fast. You cannot imagine. And knowing everything. To really know means to feel. <laughs> what is the use of life if there is no feeling? <laughs> <laughs> 